we have Lance Stroll. In second place, Valtteri Bottas. And taking the 90th pole position of his career and his seventh here at the Hungara Ring, our pole sitter, Lewis Hamilton. Lewis, congratulations. Um, what a Q3 session for you. 1.1 seconds faster than last year's pole. Just how did that final lap feel? Uh, it felt it felt great. Uh, just in general, qualifying altogether felt um, uh, really solid. And uh, you know, the team has just done a, an incredible job. I just I, we, Valtteri and I, and we just owe it really to to this great group of people back at the factory and and here who are just constantly pushing uh, the the bar higher. And um, it's you know I'm really proud to work work with them and to get to drive a car like this around the track like this is pretty awesome. Um, turn 11 is nearly, uh, it's nearly flat for us today, which is uh, quite insane, the speeds we go through there. So um, it's, it's, you know, it's impressive to see how far the technology has advanced. Um, Valtteri did a great job today, uh, applying a lot of pressure. But um, Hungary's always been good hunting ground for me. But also I'm aware that qualifying isn't everything here. Uh, it's a long, long race, a long run down to turn one. And uh, so let's say a big congrats to Lance as well. It's awesome to, to have three Mercedes up here. Lewis, where are the gains compared to last year? Where does the lap feel different in the W11? Uh, the high speed particularly is quite a lot to different. So turn four, turn eight and nine, and, and then particularly turn 11. Um, but I would, yeah, it's, it's a little bit everywhere. I would say the, 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 the efficiency of, our, of the cars through the lower medium speed corners is, is definitely better than last year. And, um, but the high speed particularly, as I was saying, you need, you need to take it flat as well before it's a full lift. Great stuff. Well, well done, Lewis, and good luck in the race. Valtteri, come